Hey there everybody, Kendall here. So I am headed to an appointment with a very amazing old client of mine slash friend. Um, just amazing how, how my clients over the course of the years have pretty much become friends as well. And I think that that's just, it's, it's a beautiful part of the process. It really truly is. So I am headed off to this appointment to this client that I've known for years and years and years. Um, he was actually one of my very first clients here in the Dallas area, one of my very first uh, private clients. So he holds a very special spot in my heart for that reason and because he's an amazing person. Um, so we're going to grab a drink and stuff and enjoy, enjoy the rainy weather of Dallas. But I wanted to pop in on my way over to see him to, and, and just to, just to touch on some of the stuff that's kind of been coming up. You know, I didn't get conscious coffee this morning. It was pouring down rain. I was busy writing. I was busy doing other things. Um, I was busy being me. And that is the topic that I would love to cover really quickly with you guys is the power of being you. I'm going to share a couple little stories with you while I'm driving here just because I think that they're really valuable to the topic. And a couple days ago, I got a Facebook message from a very old uh, acquaintance. He was more than acquaintance, so acquaintance isn't right. Um, an old friend, although he was not necessarily my friend. He was a friend of my husband's. He was a business partner. He was somebody that, you know, I knew pretty, pretty well. He was somebody that I knew pretty well, and I just, his message to me kind of captivated me as far as what he had to say, and what he had to say to me was that I made an impact on his life, that I had changed, I had changed, I, my video is upside down, isn't it, because I, because <laughs> it bounced and it flipped upside down, that's funny, that's really, really funny, uh, <laughs> power of being you sometimes upside down I don't know is it upside down guys I say all right is that better oh my gosh it's better it's working now all right here we go all right so the power is that he was telling me about the impact that I made on his life about the things that I had done and here's a really really funny thing about this is I didn't know that I did it I had no freaking clue that I had even touched this man's life in any fashion or form, I did not even realize. And now we're looking at maybe 10 plus years since we've even talked. And he sends me this random message and he tells me about the life changes and about the, you know, just like this impact. And I thought, wow, that was such a big deal to me. It was just so, and you know, and, and hey, if, if you're one of the people that watches this, thank you for, thank you for that. Thank you for the, the support there. Um, right after that, I received another message from somebody else. It was like the message day. I received another message from somebody else telling me some of the same stuff about the impact and thanking me for being authentic, thanking me for being truthful, thanking me for just being me. And I was like, okay, wow. And then I went into session with a couple of clients that very same day. We're talking about maybe, maybe four days ago. I think it was like Friday. And one particular client, he just hugs me and he you know, like he's almost in tears and he, he's like, thank you. Thank you. You know, thank you for doing what you do. And I've received a couple other messages. So why I'm sharing this is not to tell you that, you know, I've received all these thank yous, but to tell you that the impact that each of us makes, because this is not unique to me, it is each and every single one of us and the impact that we each make in this world 
is so freaking powerful. It's so valuable. And we don't understand how we really touch other people's lives and the importance of that. Because in changing the world and making the world a better place, what we, what we have to realize is, shoot, my little hook thing's not working here. Let's see if that works. Let's see if I can get it. All right, it's working again. Um, what we have to realize is that it really does happen one person at a time. It happens when we don't see it. It's not wanting to hold. My little magnet guy is not wanting to hold. Ah, I hate it when something does not want to work for me. Like, I just hold. Maybe I can just get the balance. All right. I'm not on too bumpy of a road. Watch me go through all the bumps now. Um, <laughs> but we don't typically see the impact. We don't typically realize when we are really touching somebody or when we are really doing something important. The messages that we're sharing, the, the statements that we're making, the connection that we might be having with somebody even. We just do not realize what value each little thing really has on somebody. So I'm going to encourage you guys to look out into the world, look at your different relationships, look at the things that are going on in your world, the people that are there. Open your eyes, your ears to the appreciation, to the gratitude that you might be getting. Pay attention to the statements that are being made to you, those positive statements of thank you, of wow, I couldn't have done that without you, or wow, you didn't really have to do that right there. You didn't have to, you know, step out of your comfort zone and do this or that, but then you did. So I want you to look at those areas and really lean into them. And then I want you to ask yourself, how, how can I show up even more? What are the things that I can do that are going to impact this world even more? How can I be a better friend? How can I be a better business partner? How can I be a better husband, a better father, a better mother, a better daughter, a better anything? Like, how can you really truly be better at the things that you're doing and in the relationships? And that's what I really want you to focus in on is the relationship aspect of this, because that's what it all comes down to is the relationship that you're having with different people and how you're showing up for them and just your gratitude that you might share for them. We do not share our appreciation. We share our criticism. We share our judgment. We share our hatred, we share our bitterness, we share our suffering, but we have a really tough time sharing compliments, we have a tough time sharing appreciation and gratitude and genuine love. We put stipulations on our love. We really kind of make it difficult to just be, you know, to just be, to be us. And I want you to kind of lean in on that and say, how can I really open up a space for others to feel comfortable being them? How can I reveal myself a little bit more in being myself? And really just allow that to happen. Allow your heart to be seen. Allow the love to be felt. Allow the appreciation to be felt. I realize that that right there, when we do that, that is the power of being unique. That is the power of being us. And I'm not talking about unique, like some, like the snowflake issues that we have going on in our world. No, we're each unique. And at the same time, we're not. The world doesn't owe us anything, you know, so get that out of your head too. But you are unique because there's only one you, your message, your words, your thoughts, your feelings, your way of relating is going to be unique to you. And it's based on how you feel about yourself, 
your connection with God, the universe, with source energy. It's about how present you are, how much time and not really the time, but the presence, the dedication, the heart that you put into something, especially into those relationships with others. And that your words, unlike what all of us were taught, sticks and stones can break our bones, but words can never hurt us. It's a bunch of bullshit. Bunch of bullshit. Words are far more fierce and powerful and really traumatizing and painful than sticks and stones. Sticks and stones leave marks that typically heal within days or a couple of weeks. Words last a lifetime. Think of it like that. Realize that whether your words are positive or negative, they can carry a lifetime impression with the people that you are leaving them with. So your words can either be a blessing or a curse. They impact more than just the person that you give them to. Because when you give your words to another person, you're also sending out a ripple effect to all the people that they come in contact with. Realize that. It's kind of like when you're out and about and you look at somebody and you just give them a smile that you can potentially change their whole day. But you know what? You didn't just change their whole day with that smile. You potentially changed numerous people's day. And that's what you have to really look at. Like, wow, the impact that one person can have, that just one person can have. So put a smile on your face. Focus in on the joy. Focus in on the happiness. Focus in on the gratitudes. You guys probably get sick and tired of hearing me say that word, gratitude, appreciation. But focus in on the gratitudes. Focus in on the appreciation. And kind of lay off the gas pedal on all the critiquing, the opinions, the anger, the bitterness, the judgments, jealousy. That's all from a place of ego. It's not from a place of heart. It's not from a place of love. It's not from a place of connection. It's certainly not bettering the world. And if you want to cause friction, if you want to cause pain, go there. Go there. Go there frequently then. But I don't believe that that's true of you. I don't believe that that's true, at least my followers. I think that you follow me because you guys have beautiful hearts and souls and that you want to be a blessing to this world and you want to have a positive turned on life and impact this world with that positive turned on life in a positive fashion, not in a negative draining fashion. So there's the, there's the point that I want to make. I just, I really want, it's just amazing to me the comments that have come in over the last, like I said, I guess it was Friday, or I guess it's what, I guess that's like five or six days. Gee whiz. Um, <clears throat> but the comments that have kind of come through in different ways from different people, it's very eye opening as to how much, you know, like I can sit down and I can write an article, I can do a conscious copy, I can share a little tidbit of my life and I pray to God that I impact somebody in a positive way and I'm always ecstatic when I get something back that's positive but here's the reality guys sometimes I doubt that I'm that I'm impacting and sometimes I doubt that I'm having a positive influence I'm human too so when I get these messages it's a very eye-opening as to how valuable even messages that maybe I go man I wasn't at my best there you know I, I didn't really give my best there I don't feel like I gave my best because I'm always wanting to give my best. But then there's these moments that you can't give your best. So even in those moments, realize that maybe you don't feel like you're giving your best, but if you get the right words out, the right message out, and you lean in from your heart, from your soul, and you just speak your truth, and you be beautiful you, the only you that is on this planet, that somebody out there is gonna be touched by it. When you're out in the world and you're at the grocery store and you smile at a random stranger and you think nothing of it, realize that you potentially saved that person's life. Maybe you saved somebody else's life. Maybe that person is going to make a different decision because of something that you said, because of a look that you gave. So pay attention to where you're at 
and the things that you're saying and the expressions that you're making because they're powerful. You're powerful. So, okay, guys, I'm actually to my destination. It was just down the street. Um, quite literally, I've got two lights to go and, and then I'm there and I'm going to have a great glass of wine with a beautiful soul that I love to death. And I hope that you guys have an awesome, awesome night, a fantastic evening, and really realize how powerful you are, because you are powerful. So, um, I'm going to see any, any, you know what, I'm not even going to do announcements, so forget the announcements. There's no announcements. Everybody knows that I have free consults going on. Everybody knows that I'm giving $300 uh, study course away right now, right? You guys know that stuff. You know that I'm giving a whole bunch of stuff away. It's give, 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 give. Lots and lots of free stuff. If you don't know what I'm giving away, click on www.kendallwilliams.com and look at the menu bar because it says free, free. I think that's the only two frees. It says free, free, free. So click on that. Go there, fill out those consults, um, grab that course and check out the events tab as well because there's a whole bunch of stuff going on over this summer. So go check that out. And as always, stop existing, start living, have an absolutely amazing evening and embrace the person that you are, the soul that you are and how powerful you really truly are. I love you guys and I'll catch you tomorrow morning with another Conscious Coffee.